autonomous driving, is this still more a vision? Or are we already much closer to its market introduction than many think? Let's have a look at our latest package of driver assistance systems that we are now launching in the new E-Class. I would like to invite you on a short journey in order to show you how far we have already come and also what the next steps are. Based on an intelligent sensor fusion comprising stereo camera and several radar signals, the drive pilot is capable of following the road or the vehicle ahead while maintaining the correct distance and helping to keep the vehicle in its lane. With the speed limit pilot, the camera detects the speed limits from traffic signs, which are then automatically adopted by the cruise control. In this way, we make sure that you are always driving within the allowed speed limit. Another brand new feature is the active lane change assist. If the driver uses the indicator in order to signal that he or she wants to change lanes, then the radars and other sensors check if the lane is free for overtake. If not, then the vehicle does not perform the lane change. But if the lane is free, then the system supports the lane change with a very smooth steering assistance that is very comfortable for the driver. The functions of our driver assistance systems are designed to allow semi-automated driving. This means that the drivers have to keep their hands on the steering wheel. They must be able to initiate a course or lane correction at all times. If this is not the case, the drivers are prompted to put their hands back on the wheel. If the driver does not react to such a prompt, the active emergency stop assist starts to decelerate the vehicle, eventually bringing it to a safe stop. What will be the next steps towards autonomous driving? In the state of Nevada, in the USA, the new E-Class has received the license for carrying out autonomous driving and testing. This is the first time that a serious production vehicle has been granted a license for such a feature. In the autonomous test version of the vehicle, the steering pilot can automatically decelerate before curves. This enables very comfortable driving through curves autonomously. And the vehicle can also drive through much sharper curves. Another feature is that the vehicle is automatically able to decelerate and come to a standstill at junctions when these are contained in the vehicle's map data. All the driver then has to do is turn onto the desired road. All test drivers were overwhelmed by the level of autonomy with which this vehicle is already able to drive. We have learned a great deal about autonomous driving over the last few years. And this has made us even more committed to continuing our pioneering work in this exciting new technology. This channel Old Benz. Thank you for attention. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel.